Greetings, Hithria fans, Teemo players, Poro holders, and everyone else that's been enjoying the start of the Legends of Runeterra open beta. Now that a few weeks have flown by and ranks have been climbed, masters achieved, and many, many decks have been built, we wanted to take some time to look at what's been going on. My name is Pastry Time, and this is the Beta Season Report. First things first, it's time to recognize some of the players that have gone above and beyond to demonstrate their card slinging skills, community efforts, content production, or just simply love for the game. It's time to recognize some of our beta season legends. First up is the world's first master player, Pokrovac. Primarily playing a modified Elise Darius starter deck, Pokrovac proved that enough skill and determination to grind out games is worth more than needing all the cards from day one. And if that wasn't enough, he also became the world's first dual server master player after hitting the top rank in North America as well. Next is NA's own content creating one man army, it's Swim. Swim has been churning out content at lightning speed before the beta even began, and he's only sped up since then. Make sure to check out his Meta Monday series that drops before your vault opens if you need some guidance on what deck to build next. Over in EU, Trek Cloud has been streaming up a storm since starting to play Legends of Rune Terra. His Twitch channel has been growing swiftly and consistently despite only streaming in Czech. Language may divide us sometimes, but big brain plays are something we can all understand. For the Spanish-speaking crowd, the people over at Los de las Caticas have you covered. The four hosts have been consistently pumping out content for their community, including a weekly podcast where they discuss the game, meta, and different decks. And last, but certainly not least, Brazilian gamer Leo Main deserves a look. The first player from Brazil to hit Masters in the Americas and the third overall Leo Main has an extensive background in strategy games, including playing TFT since day one. Already a fantastic representative for the Brazilian LOR community, he rounds out this list of our beta season legends. Now it's time to talk about deck lists that have caught my eye throughout the beta. And while many different strategies and champions have been flung across digital card tables, these are just a few that I wanted to highlight. Whether they're atop the metagame mountain, creative yet powerful, or just fun. At the opening of the season, it seemed as though you couldn't get enough of the week's new aggressive creature-based strategy, starting with the spiders that push Pokrovac to Masters, to the polarizing meme-making power of Elusive, decks that want to play small units and beat down quickly became a staple of the early metagame. One of the more popular avenues that also appeared features the once less loved keyword, Fearsome. Whether it's the Dawn Speakers of Demacia making spiders even more spooky, or the tiny little splash of Ionia to help Wraith Caller and friends explode your nexus faster than you can say, please don't have Hackerim. The fearsome units of the Shadow Isles are very fearsome. Maybe Sinister Poro will even make an appearance soon. The deck is consistent, powerful, and very flexible, allowing both the ability to swing out and end games quickly, while also playing powerful threats like Rahasa and Ledros. And while some of these elements have been changed recently, the core of the deck still remains intact and deadly. Amping the spice levels up a little bit more comes the unlikely, but effective, combination of Draven and Heimerdinger. Exactly the champion I think of when I imagine mindless and unrelenting Noxian aggression. Courtesy of professional card game player and deck builder Raptor comes Brains and Brawn. The decklist I didn't know I needed until now. Featuring a bevy of Piltover's underappreciated hits, this unique combination has a ton of tricks to keep your games refreshing. Plus, you're playing Jay Madada, what's not to like? With the ability to make bulky elusive units with Sump Snipe Scavenger, drop cheap Plaza Guardians, or deploy a fleet of machines with Hyma, this deck doesn't play like many others, but it's very rewarding to learn the nuances. Did I mention you're playing J Madada? Spin those axes, draw those cards. Value is always greater than victory. And finally, a mainstay of players everywhere since the first previews began, comes a fan favorite that might not only just be fun to pilot, but maybe even good. Not just an expedition dream anymore, proof that if you can dream it in LOR, you can do it. The Elnuk Parade is once again ready to rain memes and moves upon your opponents. Champions, not needed. This is true cross-region power. Thanks to Redditor Peeps Rebellion for showing this off. You may not have been the first, but you prove to the people that sometimes dreams do come true. Sometimes a horde of Elnuks are enough to even turn the tides of time. All the moves. Well, folks, that's all we have for this edition of the Beta Season Report, but we'll be back soon enough with more deck lists, highlights, and another look at more Beta Season Legends. Until then, may your draws be good and your Elnux be plentiful.